Hi, we're at the ISPCS uh, with Harry Van Halten, who is the co-founder of uh, Space Expedition uh, Coruscant. And how are things going with the uh, with the program right now? Uh, things are going pretty well. We um, we started the pre-sales of our tickets in uh, in April this year. We've sold 36 tickets thus far. Uh, recently completed uh, our first investment round, which was 50% uh, oversight. So that uh, that was a a pleasant surprise for us, and uh, we're currently uh, working closely with Xcore on the development of their vehicle, and uh, we're foreseeing the start of operations uh, in 2014 out of uh, Curacao. How early in 2014 are you looking at the first half of the, the year, or is it still that, that uncertain? It's very difficult to predict. I mean, we're uh, focusing on the rollout of, uh, of the links, obviously next year, first flight next year. Hopefully, if, if everything falls into place. Uh, if that works well, then uh, we're, we're right on track for uh, starting operations in uh, 2014. Okay, and you mentioned uh, you had a very good first investment round. Can you explain that a little bit more about how much you received and you said it was 50% over? Oversigned. Oversigned. Uh, we had the first investment round. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to disclose any numbers at this time, but uh, that was the, the let's say the start of our, our company capital, out of which we uh, financed the uh, the first uh, down payment for Xcore in uh, okay. after we signed the final agreement with Xcore about the wet lease of the uh, Lynx Mark II. And 50% oversigned means what exactly for my non? Well, let's say we uh, we required five million dollars, and then uh, we had uh, parties sign up for seven and a half. Okay. So that's what I meant. Fifty percent oversight. That's not an actual figure. That's an example. That's an example. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> and um, you said uh, you, you're at thirty-six tickets now. Yes, we started uh, April twelfth last year. Uh, launched our pre-sales campaign, um, and we sold thirty-six tickets since then. Okay, and by selling 36 tickets, what what is the arrangement there? Is that a, a down payment of a certain amount, and with we payment sell, due uh, later? Or? We sell two types of tickets. We call them uh, founder astronauts and uh, future astronauts. The founders uh, pay the full uh, fare, and the full fare is ninety-five thousand dollars. And the futures pay half, and then they pay the other half uh, like three months before they are scheduled to go. Okay, and can you are you able to give a breakdown of of those 36 tickets? How many founders, or how many? Uh, it's in the order of 95% is founder astronauts and the others are futures. So oh, okay. We sell, uh, and then the founder astronauts, we only sell 100 of them, and we really regard those people as the founders of our company. Okay. So we recognize that fact and uh, in giving them a little extra uh, attention in, uh, in the training program, uh, extra benefits along the way. Okay. And um, how, mu how much money does that rep represent? I mean, in terms of deposits, can you, you put a figure on that? Uh, the figure on that, I'm, I'm having a hard time doing the, the math, but... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll think that through later. Yes. Okay. Um, you were at uh, Xcore, did you visit Xcore earlier this week? Yes, we uh, visited Xcore last Monday, um, basically to get a good feel for the progress and, uh, yeah. and continue the talks that uh, we have ongoing for our close cooperation. Right. And uh, how, how did that go? Very well. The, the progress is there. They're uh, they're hiring people. They placed uh, orders on, uh, on on many of the the parts that uh, that they developed. Uh, the progress of the uh, the uh, rocket engine is, is going very well on all the components that uh, they're developing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think they're they're very uh, good on schedule. If you can speak of a schedule for things like this, I right. mean, this is a game changer. It's a breakthrough okay. technology, but uh, everything looks really yeah. positive. Uh, uh, for the rollout, you know, early next year and the uh, first flight late next year. Um, there's a there's other uh, providers of this service, notice notably uh, Virgin Galactic. Um, what made you go with Xcore? I mean, what what do you like about Xcore and what? What I like about Xcore is the simplicity of the design and the maturity of the uh, propulsion. Yeah, I think really it's a it's a, it's a vehicle that that suits our company very well. Uh, it's a multi-mission craft with uh, extreme good performance. Um, and I think in our proposition it stands out very well. We, uh, we can take only one uh, co-pilot astronaut, as we call it, per flight, but you're sitting right next to the pilot. I mean, that's better than business class seating. Yeah. Um, and that one-on-one -on -one relationship for this ride, I think, is, uh, is just, I think, the best in order to, en to enjoy it to, uh, to the highest possible amount. Because it's, uh, in our belief, it's a life-changing experience that you provide to people. So, right. Uh, that 
is, is one part of it and uh, on top of that we can do uh, scientific uh, research with it, mm -hmm. uh, research and development uh, and in the end uh, launch small satellites right. and all that we can do with the same craft and we fly four missions a day so that provides us a lot of flexibility in yeah, uh, putting our business model to work. Quick turnaround, a lot of flights. Absolutely. Do you think you'll be able to fill all those flights and with people and experiments? And Yes, yes. Um, um, that's that's our goal and uh, and that's our mission to to realize okay. that before 2014. Okay. Um, how are um, how are preparations going on in in Curacao? Is there does this require any new buildings or, or terminals, hangars, or? Yes and no. Uh, we foresee the start of operations 2014. Uh, at that point, we are planning to uh, operate out of temporary facilities for mm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. But we've uh, we've got a great design for the spaceport and the uh, space experience center that uh, that we call our permanent facilities, um, and those will get uh, uh, seriously underway uh, once we have started the the actual operations. Okay. So we want to prove uh, our business case first. We want to be in business. And, uh, and after right. uh, starting our core business, which is space operations, uh, we want to make uh, permanent facilities uh, on Curacao. Okay, so that's separate, different from what's being done with... We call it phase two and phase three. Phase okay. one is, uh, is starting our operations, phase two is the space port and, right. uh, and, and building the facilities. And once that's complete, and phase three is housing the space experience center. Is, is the Curacao government providing any funding to for the facilities or for the... Yes, they are at this time. They uh, they were one of the first to actually uh, provide us with the seed money, so we're very grateful for that. Oh, okay. And and the air force or the, the the airfield is actually government property, so we need close cooperation with the uh, government mm -hmm. anyway. And uh, so they're a big stakeholder in this. Is there their value of what the government's putting into this? Can you you say a figure on that or? It's uh, well, they they provided the, the initial seed money. That uh, that was uh, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Um, there's a potential uh, for that to, to increase, but uh, we're not uh, counting on that, if you will, at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to force them into um, providing right. more tax money into our project. We won't really want to prove it first uh, mm -hmm. uh, to ourselves, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, obviously uh, any support is welcome. Are you able to say how much you're spending on this, or is that a figure you're, you're comfortable talking about? Uh, well, can you specify the question? Is well, I mean, the government put in 350000 in terms yes. of seed money. Yes. Um, how much is that in terms of total investment? The total investment of, of all phases is estimated at, at about uh, $75 million. Oh, okay. So, um, and that's, that, that is including the first phase starting the operations. So that's also financing the wet lease for the XCOR um, Lynx Mark II, mm -hmm. uh, building the facilities on Curacao, the spaceport, and housing the Space Experience Center. Okay. But uh, the whole program is also built on three separate revenue streams, one for the uh, operations, right. one from the spaceport, and one from the Space Experience Center. So they okay. all have to be um, basically providing uh, for their own revenues. In, in terms of time uh, in implementing these, if you start sometime in 2014, how soon do you think you'll be f finished with through phase three where you have the facilities and you have a time frame Difficult to predict at this time, but uh, I foresee that uh, once we are in operations, uh, we want to proceed with the next step pretty quickly. So let's say we, we we start to build uh, the permanent facilities uh, within a year after starting the operations. Okay. Uh, it, it could be as early as 2016, where we open the facilities uh, as the, like the spaceport, and then uh, the Space Experience Center in 2017. Uh, um, but that's difficult to predict at this time, because it, it also it, it all depends on, on the progress of uh, the development of the links as can, well. Can you describe the Space Experience uh, Center a little bit more? Absolutely, it's like a mini Kennedy Space Center. That's really what it what it is. It's uh, it's really combining education and entertainment, uh, learning people what commercial space is about, what the opportunities are for for the kids and and for education, uh, in a broad sense. So that that really I think brings commercial space uh, to the public. Right. So that would be for the general public to, to go Absolutely. Visit. Okay. And, and that ranges from 8 to 80. So that's that's okay. our target. To and you'll the spaceport will have the training sessions, uh, training facilities there for the... Most of it, most of it. Most of uh, it. We can do uh, some, some training. We Most of the training we can do on the airfield we'll do there. Right. Uh, but for some uh, things we probably need to go to other places. If okay. you talk about hyperbaric chambers, if you want to do high altitude training or simulation right. of that environment. Uh, we probably have to move off-site, uh, okay. but we're targeting all those locations and, uh, and we're 
uh, developing our trading program as we speak. Yeah, is there anything else uh, you want to add? Well, we're very excited to be here in New Mexico and, uh, and we're looking for more opportunities to, to work together with all the parties involved. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.